What is going on everybody? Obesity Prime here and today I'm going to do something a little different. I've been asked quite a lot about ruins and stuff like that so today I'm going to give you my insight, my opinion on ruins through all the trees and how they can work when playing Shaco. This is just my opinion guys so internet take it easy. If you hate what I say that's fine. If you love what I say that's fine too. It's ultimately up to you. This video isn't necessarily aimed for uh, pros and people, master, grandmaster, and plus. It's more for um, the lower ranked players who are new to Sheko, who want to get better, or just want to know what their options are when it comes to uh, choosing ruins for him. Because I believe he could be somewhat versatile, and I'll explain that now. So let's get into it. For my next trick, I'll make you disappear. <laughs> Welcome back. So here's how things are going to go down. I had created this little chart just to make things very simple to get my thought process across very quickly. And so I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible while going through all four trees and possibly at the end just give a brief overview of some of my skill trees. So we're going to start with Resolve. And as you can see, the keystones, and this is primarily for keystones only, you're not going to go for any of them. They just don't make sense on Shaco. So um, that's why everything's pretty much blank. However, I do believe Resolve is probably the best or tied for the best secondary tree to go. And that is for the two at the very bottom highlighted in green, which is Bone Planning, which helps with survivability, negating damage from three spells or attacks on you. So that's pretty good. And lastly, which is kind of underpowered right now, or Sleeper OP is the better way to say it. And I believe it's getting a buff soon too, but that is unflinching. Um, guys, that's 15% tenacity and slow resistance for 10 seconds after using your uh, summoner spell. And then gain 10% tenacity and slow resistance for each summoner spell on cooldown. So that's 20%. So I like to uh, think about it this way for the ultimate tenacity build is you take this, that gives you 20, right? And then you go mercury treads which is i believe 35 30 35 so that's about 50 and then if you were to go into the precision tree with that tenacity that can go all the way up to 30 so you're looking at 80 percent cc reduction that is huge all right that's just a little off tangent but uh let's get back to this and the only other one that i think is good would be um font of life as a support shako because you can well shako doesn't offer any healing that's pretty obvious so to give him some healing is quite good in my opinion and it's uh so your adc when the champion is marked all you have to do is throw an e and i believe your boxes count for the uh impairment too but i know for sure e and they heal for six percent of your max health over two seconds um some notable ones could be second wind um, I just wouldn't prefer because the bur if you're going to go to someone who's very bursty, you're you're not going to reap any of this healing, honestly. It, you'll die by two seconds into its healing, so not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather take bone plating. And overgrowth, if you're going jungler and you want to be tanky, you know, this can help. It's all, it could also work for Shaco support. Uh, since you're in lane and minions are dying all the time, it's definitely uh, a viable option. Next up is Inspiration. And here you, you can kind of see what I was going for by building this chart. Um, it's broken up to rolls and either AP or AD on whatever uh, style you want to go with with my recommended keystone. So uh, Unsealed Spellbook, pretty straightforward. It allows you to use all the summoner spells, uh, but you have to use, I think, like five or four. Or some, you have to use a set a number of amount before you can get back to your original. So I would say, uh, for example, top, you can go teleport ignite. Um, and that way it's always like swappable in a sense but my preferred opinion uh, choice would be glacial augment guys this is high utility people will be talking shit about it when I use it but guys let me just explain something to you for melee it is a slow from 45 up to 55 percent over two seconds slow do you know what slows do they allow the enemy not to move they allow the enemy not to chase in doing so it allows your teammates to catch up 
which they can do more damage it allows you to get one or two more auto attacks in so auto attacks uh, let's say as you know like 100 damage 200 damage if you were to get two off during the duration of the slow so in a way it makes up some damage but it's not direct immediate damage for something like uh, dark harvest or common so keep that in mind moving on I think you can either go magical footwear or perfect timing both work the only difference would be magical footwear you would have to wait before to get your boots but that's a trade-off uh, you would have to make it whether you want to wait 10 to 12 minutes for an extra 10 move speed plus save 300 gold it's up to you uh i like features market biscuit delivery is also a good one to do if you want just more sustain there's nothing wrong with that and lastly it's comic insight i think it's one of the best on the street for the cdr and lastly Approach Velocity works well with Glacial Augment and other people who have slows and whatnot because you gain 15% move speed towards nearby elite champions that are movement impaired so you can run towards faster towards your champions or enemy champions so if you hit them with Glacial you get a 50% movement speed boost which helps you get up closer faster do more attacks see makes up for the damage that you would miss so don't knock it guys it's it's pretty good moving on to the next tree Next up is sorcery and guys this one's pretty straightforward so uh, this is your AP tree if you're gonna go AP Shaco this is one if this is one of the only two you'd probably be choosing and that is because you're gonna be running comment look at that comment on all aspects I mean AD I mean you wouldn't be running this as an AD champion let's be honest obviously you're gonna run mana flow band for the mana transcendence for the cooldown and then your choice of scorch or gathering storm either one are perfect Next up is Precision. Now you have some options here, guys. We can go, I would, I mean, Presley Attack is okay, but it's definitely not the best of the four. Uh, I would say Lethal Tempo. The only downside of Lethal Tempo is you have to wait 1.5 seconds before you get the attack speed, but it lasts for six seconds. So you, And an, another drawback is um, the attack speed increases as based on your level so from 40 to 110 um fleet footwork is okay if you're like top and you're going against like a kale or a gangplank or someone who's very pokey it can really help keep you in lane a little bit uh longer next up is another great one conquer guys conquer is nice um i would say take it if you're going an ad build because it boosts your attack uh, i think you gain like 10 to 20 AD if you max stack it depending on your level as well and you heal for 15% of that damage which can be huge in a fight right uh, next up we'll go triumph uh, I think that one's really good just for the healing when you get a kill things get close you get that heal and it saves you right from that ignite next up is your choice honestly alacrity for the attack speed blonde line is probably the, the weakest one but I still think it's okay and just because it gives you lifestyle for healing but that tenacity, I think, is overall the best one. 30% is just unmatched, right, guys? And then lastly, we all know Coupe de Gras. Uh, you probably want to go cut down or last stand. Just, you don't really want those. You're, you're an assassin at heart, so you want to deal as much damage as you can when they're low. And last but not least is Domination, guys. This is our tree. This is where the bread and butter where you have the most options. So let's get started. Um... Predator, guys, come on. You're a stealthy assassin. The last thing you want to do is let the enemy know you're coming. All right, so don't even touch that one. Electrocute is probably the weakest here. Um, just out of the two, I don't think it's like terrible. It's good. It has pretty good damage and a fair cooldown reduction for what it does. You just have to get three um, three attacks off on them. It, it has its place, I suppose. I would highly, re not highly recommend it, but I would, if you're going to choose it, probably towards an AP Shaco build. Uh, but next up, Dark Harvest can work for either one. Uh, I would highly recommend it for AP, just because it's easier. You can just throw an E, and it just adds more burst onto what you can do. Uh, so that's what I would go with there, but it can work for AD as well. But my preferred in this tree is Halo Blades. The difference between this and Lethal Tempo is you gain the 110 attack speed right at the start no matter what level but you only get three attacks right and you have two seconds to use it so there's that's the difference between them but i rather have hill blades because lethal tempo is more if you're going to be standing there 
fighting with the enemy that way you can utilize the full six seconds plus you have to wait 1.5 seconds for it to start in the first place hail of blades it's right when you get there bam 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 get your three and get out or alt or whatever and if you didn't know these attack speed bonuses work on your clones too so if you're gonna use lethal tempo you have to attack wait for the um attack speed to actually be activated before you are with hail of blades once you queue in you get that one first backstab you can all and your clone should have the Halo Blades attack speed. I could be wrong, but I know they do apply to the clones because I've seen it happen many a times. So that's one thing. Next up, um, no bad options on here. Cheap shot, taste of blood, but I think Sun of Impact is the best. Uh, next row down, really no, it's, you know, these are personal preference. Zombie Ward, Ghost Poro, or Eyeball. I think Ghost Poro is probably the weakest out of the three, but the other two are pretty nice. I usually go with Zombie Ward just because I like the free wards. Right, vision is key in this game. And then lastly, Ravenous Hunter, Relentless Hunter, Ultimate Hunter. Ultimate Hunter, or Ravenous, or even uh, Indigenous if you're going AP. But uh, for Mali, I would say maybe R Relentless or Ultimate. So uh, yeah, those are my opinions on those. And lastly to touch on would be your adaptive choices at the bottom. So. You have to look at the teams, you know, if they're stacking 4 AD or 4 AP, I normally go double flex or defense armor or double AP if they're stacking that way. Try to look at the, the threat and try to think, am I going to come in contact with them, with them a lot in the like first 15 minutes? The answer is no, probably go towards your lanes uh, to counter your lane. So I'll probably just go one flex for the armor, one on health and then adaptive for the damage because I usually go hail of blades so I don't need the offense 10 percent attack speed you know if I can't do the damage in three attacks that I know I will win the the trade then I just need to back off wait four seconds and try again with my reset hail of blades you could run CDR if you want that um, as an AP because I don't think the adaptive force on the AP really matters so much all right so here are some examples of my rune pages uh, I changed them up a little bit so here's an example of another kind of build that I would go I usually run resolve with bone plating and unflitching but in this one I went with the precision tree for coup de gras and triumph here's my AP um, you know pretty standard right guys uh, mana flow band for the mana transcendence for the cooldown and I'll usually try to run a high CDR build so I can get that extra AP if you didn't know uh, every 10% I think you go over the CDR limit uh, next up is another possible AP this is more of a pokey one or maybe a support or top where you can rely on your comet for extra damage the scorch for extra damage as well and then lastly this is my mod page this is where I do all my experimentation because I don't want to mess with my other pages they're fine the way they are they work well so let me just mess with one and for this I would actually change bloodline to tenacity and that's what I was talking about earlier about the having high CDR so with that being said guys uh, I hope that was helpful gave you some insight on how I look at it and use my ruins as I said you don't have to use them if you don't like them you can go on your pro guides or whatever the other ones are and use their recommended ruins it doesn't really matter at the end of the day it comes down to a lot more factors than just your ruins so that being said guys thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe and i hope this was helpful to you see you later for my next trick i'll make you disappear